Hello there! Welcome! I need to get this pipe band to stop playing. There we go. Pipe down, lads. Pipe down. They've, uh, they're very keen. Hello, hello, and welcome to Bonnie Scotland. Welcome to the MPC Gala. Now, if you didn't know, this weekend, where have you been? This weekend, we have been uh, conducting our MPC Gala live on Instagram because, of course, um, of the situation right now, we couldn't do it in person. For the past couple of years, we have met up in Bonnie, Scotland um, to celebrate and to thank all our amazing, amazing peakers. Thank you, guys. Um, it's been such a great year and I couldn't thank you enough because, honestly, the work that you guys have been doing, the, the sweat that you've given us, the dedication has been really incredible. This weekend, we kick things off with our fantastic workouts. Uh, it was very, very sweaty. Coach Valbo um, put us through our paces. I'm going to uh, invite him and the rest of our MPC crew right now, so bear with me, to, uh, to have a little chat, to say hi. Uh, I hope you've all got, uh, got your glad rags on. Obviously, um, we don't have irons in Scotland, so I've been unable to, to iron this, but um, hey, we made the effort. So I'm going to invite my good friends along, and then we will have a quick catch up with our coach and of course uh, the wonderful um, Justin Jordana who make all of this happen. Um, I've invited them along. You guys, it's great to see everyone here. We've got almost 20,000 people. There we are. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Woo. Cheers, gang. Glad you're well. Hey, guys. Glad you're well. You're looking well, looking smart. And that's all I give you, waist up. <laughs> Me too. I mean, we have, uh, we have people from all around the world here. Some people are in their pajamas. Obviously, John is in his. Um, but this, yes, this, this, is the the this is what I wear to bed. This is what I wear to bed. You, <laughs> you look, exactly. uh, you look fresh there, John. John. Yeah, you. this is what I wear to bed too. And, and hey, I just noticed I'm not wearing a hat. I just forgot about that. It's the <laughs> first time I've seen you without a hat. Guys, yeah, right. what a year it's been. Jordana, it's so good to, to see you. I'm unfortunately not in person, but... Um, it's been a long time. It has, right? I was, think I was thinking about that this morning, like last year, early last year, I think, since we've seen each other in person. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, we've been catching up a lot on, on our social and also uh, Zoom calls, which are, I guess, the bane of our existence right now. But it's made us do a lot. You know, we, we, got, to, we got a lot done this year. Obviously, it's been a good year for NPC. Amazing. It's been. It's really been an amazing year. Yeah. It's, it's been a sweaty year. It it's, has. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It has. It a lot. I mean, we, uh, we've raised now, uh, let me get this right, Alex, we've, we raised over $5 million for yeah. charity. So not only have, has everyone sweated, they've, they've forged friendships, they've, they've uh, found mobility, they've enjoyed John's sessions and, and Mooney's fantastic yoga sessions, but also whilst helping themselves, they're helping other people. And we've raised, as you said, as I said, um, over 5 million for charity now, which is incredible. That's amazing. Yes, we are past the 5.5 .5 and fi full speed ahead to six. Uh, knock, knock, knock. By the end of the year, we reached it. So, to the peakers. Um, yes, absolutely. A big thank you to all our uh, fantastic peakers. And yes, I mean, it's been... Uh, a good year, obviously. Uh, yesterday was a bit of a sweat session, John. I, um, I, 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 I are you sore? Because I, I was sore. I had to do Coach Mooney's session. I had to I, stretch things out. Honestly, couldn't sit down. Um, and then Mooney's yoga obviously really helped. But uh, 
it was uh, it was a fun session. We haven't done them for a while, so it was really good to, to get everyone and to see all the pictures as well. Everyone yeah. um, joining in and sweating actually yeah, just that as much beautiful. as I did. Yeah, there was there was there was loads of like peaker groups. That was brilliant to see. Yeah, yeah, everything. yeah. Yep. And we saw yours as well, Jordana. We saw that you uh, sweated along with us. Did a bit of sweating. Did a bit of sweating this morning as well in the yoga session, even okay. though. Um, yes, Gosh, yeah. It was not great. Great to see everyone. Yeah. So, did Jordana, Alex, there's this weird thing up in the sky where you are. What is that? It's uh, it's this. Like, it's called a it's tree. No, it's a blue thing. <laughs> it a lot of. I I was going to do mine outside as well, but it's been raining here all day. So, all day. Um, all day. All, all day. But uh, that's Scotland for you. And obviously, hopefully next year, we might actually be able to do this in person. Yes. That would be great. And would it be in Scotland, do you think? Yes, that's the plan. Absolutely. The date that's is set. Yeah. And, and, and I know that last year you said it. I don't know, but is it, am I coming across late? Because Jordana had a little slight, I think, reception, or is it me? It's you. <laughs> it's me? Oh, all right. Nice Alex, try, right? It's fashionably late. <laughs> yes. Let me, let me well, see what's going on. So... No, it's you too. I just want to say like a huge thank you to you guys for this year. It really has been amazing. And it's been very challenging, obviously, with, with COVID and the pandemic and everything. But I think, you know, it's been so inspiring. And we actually started the year off with our social distancing workout, which I think... We were one of the first um, people to sort of share this online workout. And, and, the, and the peakers really went for it. They really um, enjoyed it. And it was so good to see everyone kind of um, being positive and trying to get out there and, um, and work out as well. So big thank you to that. And then it's been, a, yeah, it's been a, a great year, hasn't it, for us? It yeah. has been. I mean, it's been, I felt so fortunate to be able to continue doing this work. I mean, very little programming or our you know, it's been so lucky to be in this space um, and have more people find us through, through their homes. Um, so Valbo's workouts, being able to do them, you know, with very little equipment and in your house has been, I think, a lifesaver for so many, including me. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah, like socially distant and have to be socially distant. And I think we managed to bring a lot of people together. So that was that was fantastic to see. Yeah. For sure, that's true, for that's sure. True. and it yeah, was um, it was also definitely you my up some new ways. Of, yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. I think we're gonna I'm gonna talk over everyone here because I think it's probably my connection uh, in Scotland. But um, now, just saying. Also, uh, yesterday we we um, we gave a little sneak peek of our peaker pack, which uh, we've been putting through its its trials, and uh, that was good fun. But yeah, that that um, finisher Valvo was was awful. That Who was, ever thought of burpees and planks? It was that was a, that was something I thought that would be a, a partner a partner thing. And uh, Sam, were you team Sam or were you team Balbo? Uh, I I Sam was, was definitely team Balbo there. I think he should have done all the burpees. It, yeah, he should. I, just, I felt like I did them. Yeah, those of us who didn't have partners, which you know were a lot, we got to the entire the entire session. Exactly. There was no sneaky rests. There were no. There were no rests. There were no. That's true. So, there, there was a few rests. Uh, there, uh, there was a few rests. Sam, did, did, did you take most of the rests? Uh, no, I was just. I was engaging. I was engaging with with our fantastic speakers. Um, guys, is there something you're looking forward to this year apart from Alex having a better Wi-Fi connection? <laughs> I I just wanted to say I'm looking forward for better uh, Wi-Fi connection. I miss our office. I miss the people for sure, and 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 uh, I miss my lunches with Jordana. I miss uh, especially uh, the Taco Tuesdays where she forgot that it's Tuesday and had the margaritas better than any champ in the restaurant. But I definitely miss my crew. I miss the office. I miss our lunches, Jordana. And, you know, speaking of the social distancing challenge, I, I was so sure this is the first time in my entire life that I have it justified. And we, all, of course, had to take that away also. But aside that, the peakers all the way, they were the bright spot for me uh, this, uh, this time around. And, and, yeah, just grateful for each one of them. And it's been amazing. Absolutely. Here's, here's to the peakers. Here's to you guys. Thank you so much for such a great year. Hopefully next year we get to uh, to do this in person. Um, Absolutely. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys go. 
enjoy the rest of your evening or daytime, I suppose it is there. Um, we're going to carry on with the festivities. I think it's time I made a, a, another drink. So um, thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Cheers. I think that went very well. Valvo's still going to work out how to get, to get I, him off Instagram. <laughs> your hair looks fantastic, by the way. There he goes. He's off. Um, a huge thank you to you all, obviously. Uh, you know, this is not how we would normally like to conduct our gala. We have done it in the past um, in Glasgow and also in Edinburgh, uh, the uh, International Conference Center and also Kelvin Grove Museum. And it's been a fantastic evening where we get to have guests. We have live music. We really celebrate all the hard work and sweat that you guys have put in. So um, this is a little way to say thank you. But... Um, yeah, I just can't thank you enough. And I like to see how many different countries we've got represented here. We have Brazil, we've got Portugal, we've got Japan, we've got people from all over the world. So a huge slanja to all of you. And speaking of slanja and cheers, I believe it's time for me to make uh, the old Edinburgh cocktail. If you guys have made it already, I hope you enjoyed it. If not, let's try and make this together right now. I've got everything set up. So uh, this will go swimmingly, I'm sure, right? Uh, here we go. I'm going to try not drop it. As you can see, my mini bar here. I just uh, prepare enough space. Well, that's not precarious at all, is it? So if you guys saw, we, um, we also have uh, the cocktail for you guys to make and uh, a virgin cocktail. But also if you guys wanted to make some food and then post it, Maybe it's a celebratory gala dinner or your recovery, dare I say, hangover or not hangover, your recovery meal tomorrow morning. Please post that. Tag us in it. What we're going to do is we're going to include those recipes in our MPC 2022 booklet. Um, it's so great. We love when you guys are involved in, uh, in contributing. And also, having said that, uh, on the forum as well, it's been great to like interact with you guys. I drop in as much as I can. The Facebook group as well. It's so cool to see you guys all kind of sharing your trials, your tribulations, your achievements, your goals. Um, and it has been incredible. I mean, we've seen people uh, gain mobility, lose weight, um, more confidence. Um, but also the other side as well, you know, people really sharing, you know, their, their, their struggles. And I think that's really important that we're all there for each other. So thank you for that. And uh, long may that continue. Let's get to this old Edinburgh cocktail so we can move forward. Here we go. Uh, I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head. So we want to put some ice in our shaker. Here's my uh, celebration shaker. Bit of ice in there. I believe I'm going to put in a good whiskey. <laughs> well, it had to be, didn't it? Um, I'm going to put in 30 mils, I think, or well, let's do 50, right? It's a party. Uh, that's 50 mils in there. I didn't really think about this setup, did I? So I'll put that in there. Then I'm going to put in two dashes of my bitters. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm making this for all of you guys. I'm going to share it with you. The old Edinburgh cocktail. What goes next? Oh, yes, sugar syrup. I made this earlier. Basically, sugar, water, um, just a little touch, not too much. I would say a teaspoon maybe uh, in there. We've worked out hard this weekend, obviously, with Coach Valvo's workout. A hike. I saw a lot of you were doing your hikes. And then also Coach Marie's fantastic yoga session, which really helped kind of settle and ease out those aching muscles. Um, what have I forgotten? Oh, yes, lime juice. I'd say about half, half of a lime. So I'm going to do about half of this. There we go. And I think that's it, right? That's it. That's it. Oh, no. Uh, I need to put in mint. Yes. Thanks for reminding me. I hope you guys are following. Here's about six mint leaves. Um, little shake. Remember I did this last year. Here we go. Here's your old Edinburgh cocktail. I can't get the top off. There we are. Top's come off. And finally, I'm going to strain this into the glass, like so. Ooh. You see that? And then we're going to top it off because it is a celebration with some champagne. There we are. 
Beautiful. That is a cocktail that reminds me of Scotland, of Edinburgh. Hopefully we could be there next year. Obviously this year we can't. Last, uh, the year before we were in Edinburgh. This reminds me of that. So cheers to you, Peakers. Thanks for all your hard work. Um, Salah Javar, as we say in Scotland. Mm. Oh, that is so good. You guys talk amongst yourselves. I'm just going to drink this. Um, oh, yes. The Virgin Cocktail, very quickly. So I don't forget, those of you that uh, want to choose this one, pretty simple, I believe. Um, you want to... Where is all my stuff? Here we go. Oh, yes. I'm just going to use this uh, glass because I've run out of things to use. Um, lump of ginger, some orange. What you're going to do is you're going to muddle that without getting it on your suit or your fine clothes. I've seen a lot of you have been dressed up for tonight, which is fantastic. Really, thank you for making the effort. Um, you guys look amazing. And you know what? It's been all of your hard work this year. Um, obviously, with your subscription to NBC, 50% uh, goes to our chosen charities. And we support so many amazing charities, which more of which in a second. I'm just going to finish this so you know that I'm not cheating. Um, then we put that into my shaker. It's going really well. Here we go. She can't get it into my shaker. Ah, there we are, into the shaker. Some apple juice, fresh apple juice. This is uh, time consuming. Next time, I think I'm gonna have someone do this for me, I think. Um, maybe Alex, do you think? Or John or Jordana? Who would make the best cocktail, do you think? To my mind, I think it's probably, probably Jordana, right? Isn't that a good shape? Well, I can smell the orange. Here we are. This looks tremendous. It smells good too. Ginger, orange, apple. And finally, to top it off, some fresh ginger beer. And there is your apple bite and it will have a wee bite from the ginger cheers your good health mm. oh that's very refreshing that's delicious really good too so normally at this point in the evening when we're at the gala we like to bring on some guests now as you know this year has been very challenging with COVID, with the global pandemic, but we are very lucky to not only support all of our chosen charities that we have in the past, but also to support not one, but two fantastic charities um, that have done uh, an awful lot this year and also helped a great many people, especially during the pandemic, which has been really tough. So I'm going to invite um, Lisa Moon here of the Global Food Banking Network. Lisa, I hope you're bearing with me and I hope you haven't finished all of your cocktails. Let's see if uh, Lisa can join me here to tell us a bit more about the charity and the work that they do. Um, if it doesn't work, I'll just keep drinking. Lisa. Hi, good evening, Sam. Hello there, how are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Thanks so much for having us. We couldn't be more excited about the partnership with My Peak Challenge. Oh, no, thank you. We, uh, we obviously, every year we choose a different charity partner. And I think this year, you know, we were really aware of how people have been affected by the pandemic, but also, you know, before, before that as well. And, and the, we would just love to know a bit more about the charity work that you guys do. Absolutely. So the vision of the Global Food Banking Network is a world where no one has to experience hunger. And as you've mentioned, the past 15 months have been challenging for so many individuals and families. But even before the pandemic, one in four people worldwide faced food insecurity. What I find to be very challenging about this statistic is that we actually produce enough food for everyone to have enough. But for whatever reason, for a variety of reasons, about 30 mm. percent of all food that is produced annually is lost and wasted. So food banks are sitting at the nexus of these two significant inequities in our food system. So mm -hmm. our network is incredibly passionate about recovering highly nutritious food and directing it to people in need. 
We unite food banks in 44 countries and the strength of our network really is in, is in its diversity. So we serve food banks in the UK to South Africa, from India to Brazil, and we coordinate closely with Feeding America, who I know will also be speaking tonight. That's right. Um, so yeah, so why have a global network of food banks? And it's really for three reasons. Um, the first is so that we can learn from and be inspired by each other. The hunger challenge is so urgent and it's really important that we learn what works, what doesn't, so we can replicate and scale up things that allow us to achieve our mission more effectively. Um, the second reason is that we can connect global resources to local organizations. Many food banks that we serve are in economically distressed communities. And although they get the majority of their support from those communities, they do rely on the vision of global citizens, of companies, of organizations to make their work possible. And the third reason is so that we can expand hunger relief to new communities. You know, Sam, about a third of the communities served in our network are connected to food banks that were founded in the last five years. Wow. Since the pandemic has started, we've gotten yes. more than 100 requests from individuals and organizations that don't have a food bank in their community that want to be part of helping their neighbors and their friends. And so like My Peak Challenge, we believe in the power of networks and that when we are able to come together to collaborate, that we really can make progress in what seems to be such a tremendous challenge. Yeah, it's it's that's amazing because I didn't realize um, that you worked, you know, amongst all these other countries. And I think it's it's as we said, you know, the pandemic has obviously exacerbated things, but it's been something that's also, as you said, been been uh, as the last five years, you've seen such growth in in the, the need for for food banks. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. and I. Yeah, you know, and and I think, of course, the the pandemic has affected um, how hunger relief organizations are able to operate. But you know, what has been so inspiring for us is that communities have really pulled together. And um, between March and September of last year, for example, about 27.6 million people accessed meals through a GFN network food bank. And to give you a sense of the scale of that, that's uh, nearly double the entire service delivery of 2019. So I think what you're seeing is that people see the need in their community, they are stepping up, they're coming together, and we're really able Able to work around um, what has become a very challenging environment. Yeah, that's incredible. Wow. I'm so glad that, yeah, I, our, our sort of small community of peakers is able to, to help support this in, 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 you know, even in this small way. And uh, is there anything that each individual peaker could do? Is there any way we can support you guys? Absolutely. So, you know, the, the, the challenge of hunger is monumental, but I absolutely believe it is solvable. You know, the United Nations set a goal six years ago that we could eradicate hunger by 2030. And, um, and even with the setbacks by the pandemic, this is, this is within our grasp, but it's going to take a committed movement of people to really elevate this issue, I think, to the minds um, of the policymakers, of governments, of businesses that all have the ability to change our food system. So obviously the partnership with my my peak challenge this year is transformational for the global food banking network, but I see three ways that people could get involved more deeply okay. if they would like to. Three um, ways, okay. Yes. <laughs> the first is, if, um, is that food banks are powered by volunteers. Um, yep. Last year, 276,000 people volunteered throughout the GFN network. And especially as things become safer, it's a great opportunity to get involved locally. To find your local food bank, you can go to foodbanking.org. Or if you're in the States, you can go to feedingamerica.org and reach out directly to the food bank in your community. Um, the second way is we need more awareness about the challenge of hunger. There was definitely a hunger crisis before the pandemic, and now we are in a state where it is truly an emergency for many individuals and families. So using your voice, your social networks, your, your colleagues at work, your friends, just to educate people about this issue, that does so much to help build momentum um, for us to be able to, to galvanize the resources needed to do more work. And the third, of course, is if you're in a position to do so, and only if you're in a position to do so, consider donating to your local food bank. Um, right now, it's more expensive to do food distribution. Food prices are higher. Obviously, with supply chain um, uh, restrictions, it's uh, more expensive to do distribution. And so mm. a donation of any size can make a very significant difference in your community. Wow. Well, those are three very simple but very effective ways for people to be involved and uh yeah i mean for sure i think you know we would love to keep supporting you guys and i'll encourage everyone to go out there and do as much as they can as well and what we'll do is we'll share uh those links obviously you can go to your um to your instagram as well and, and the links will be up there but we'll do it as well on our post and uh 
I just can't say thank you so much for all the work you do. It's incredible to hear, you know, worldwide uh, supporting people, especially um, when they need it most. And it, you would think, you know, it's like we're a modern society. You would think that we would be able to, to eat, you know, some of the simplest, most basic things. Um, so hopefully, yeah, we can, we can see that eradicated by, what did you say, 2030? By 2030, we've got, we've yeah. got nine years, but I, I know we've, that we can do it. We can do it. <laughs> we've got some work to do, but I'm sure we can. With people like you working for them as well, I'm sure we will. So thank you so much, Lisa. Uh, hopefully next time in person, uh, not on this um, form of technology, but uh, we, we got there. And thank you so much for joining us this evening. Sam, thank you so much for the opportunity. And thank you to all the peakers out there who have been so supportive of this work. We're very grateful to you. And we're grateful to you. Thank you so much. Right, Cheers. Cheers. Your best health. Thank you. Um, I feel like uh, I feel like I need a little little dram after that. A little a little taste. Cheers to Lisa and all the great work you do. So that's one of the great charities that um, we support in My Peak Challenge. Um, just through your subscription, you're helping to um, for these people to basically carry out their duties and to to help support so many people in need all around the world. So cheers to Global Food Banking Network. And uh, yes, maybe I should um, also invest in some lights. I think it's getting dark in here. I hope you guys can see me. Um, mm. Well, as I said, not only one amazing charity this year, but two. We also support, if you didn't know, uh, Feeding America, uh, which was briefly mentioned by Elisa there. And I'm gonna ask Elizabeth, I'm gonna say this right, Markard, Elizabeth, you better tell me if that's right or not. I'm going to see if Elizabeth is here um, to join me. Tell us a little bit more about the work that, uh, that those guys do. Um, let's see if I can find her uh, in Feeding America. Um, bear with me. It is, uh, it is, I'm not the best with technology, but I think I've sent her a request. She's going to tell us just a, a little bit more about the work that they do as well. Guys, it's amazing, all the charities that we support. Uh, and as you can hear, you know, really vital work. So um, I'm just so proud. I'm so proud of you guys supporting us and, and yeah, allowing us to, to continue this great work. Um, I'm just making sure I've sent the right uh, request and not to one of you people, though that wouldn't be a, a bad thing, certainly to, to ask you guys to come and join us. Um, I'm just gonna see Miss Elizabeth is here. Um, I can't quite find her. I'm sure she's going to come up. Ah, here we go. Feeding America. Send her a request. There we go. I got sent. Uh, it says unable to join me. Oh dear, that's a shame. Hmm, I wonder why. Um, that's a shame. Let me see if I can try it one more time. Bear with me, guys. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. Have another little dram. Um, feeding America. Let me see if I can bring our friend in. Elizabeth, are you there? Here we go. Send another request. Um, hi, from Paraguay. Hello there, France. Some people up very early, Brazil, bonsoir, good evening. Yes, I don't know if I'm gonna get um, Elizabeth here. That's a real shame, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening. Hmm, I'm gonna say they're having technical difficulties. So um, I'm going to uh, enjoy my cocktail once more. I'll give her another minute, see if that works. Um, just to say, guys, uh, I'm going to ad lib here. But yes, it's been obviously a fantastic year. Uh, and I have a little surprise for you, which I will get to in a second. Because obviously, um, I'm going to, yes, that's exactly right. Jordana is telling me what to, to skip ahead. So, yes, obviously, might be a challenge. We like to um, look after you guys in every way, obviously, mind, body, and soul. And indeed, we have. A lot of very sweaty workouts from Coach Valvo, which has been fantastic. We have our food plans, our meal prep, um, grocery lists, which uh, can all be accessed on our new platform, which I hope you guys are really enjoying. And then, of course, we have Coach Mooney doing our yoga for 
some real um, relaxation, but also recovery. But the side that I really wanted to, um, to introduce was also the, the mind side, the, the mindfulness to be more specific. Um, and to be mindful, well, that's a good question. What does that mean? But it's something that I think is really important, especially during uh, the pandemic. I think we've all realized, you know, being uh, away from other people, not being able to be in contact with people. Um, yeah, mental health is, is a, a really important issue. And certainly in these busy lives that we have, it's, uh, it's something that we should be um, more proactive about. So, guys, we have a new coach for you. Yes, I hear you say. A new one? We, we have more? Yes, indeed. So, alongside the workouts, the yoga, the meal plans, we're now introducing mindfulness, and we have another Elizabeth, Elizabeth Hill, who is going to become on board as our new coach to teach us a little bit more about mindfulness. Uh, and we'll see if Elizabeth's going to jump on here. Hopefully that'll work, and she can tell us a bit more about what does that mean and how we can incorporate it into our daily lives. Elizabeth, yes. it works. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing well. It's nice to meet you on here, even after that workout yesterday. I know. I'm still sweating from it. And I'm still <laughs> kind of sore, but it was, it was great fun. And then the yoga today as well was a really great way to, to unwind and to, to recover. But tell me, what is the other way that we can recover or certainly um, be more proactive in our lives? Mindfulness, what does that exactly mean? Well, mindfulness, I mean, as you said, Peekers, you have already been dealing with your bodies, dealing with your souls, like, so epically. So um, I, it seems to be time to just bring in a little bit of a mindfulness piece, which is just simply going to help you connect to your mind a little bit more. And I think that this word mindfulness can be mysterious and maybe a little bit intimidating for some people and can be associated with sitting for long periods of time with your eyes closed. Um, and that's, I mean, that is a part of it, but really for us, it's gonna be just about connecting to the present moment on purpose. Like that's really it. And anybody can be mindful. Like if you can breathe, you can be mindful. Um, right. And if you're anything like me, like it, it's super easy to get caught up in the busyness of life and everything that we have to do. And mindfulness just gives us the ability to slow down and just connect. And that actually can help our lives become more productive, less stressful, and even more enjoyable. And I know as peakers, you guys like to have fun. So that'll be a really, really good element of it. We certainly um, do. Yeah. And we work out hard too. So this is a great way for us to recover, not only, as you say, physically, but also mentally as well. For sure, for sure. And the program is gonna be really simple. I think it's gonna dovetail beautifully with the amazing program you already have. And I will lead you through it every single step of the way. Each month, I'm gonna provide you with very simple practices that are just to help you connect to yourself and connect to the moment. And I'll also offer you food for thought and some great ways to develop a deeper relationship with yourself and your world, and even some tools to help you have more of the life that you want. So that can't be bad, right? You sound like you're gonna change our lives. I love it. I think it's so important though, because we do. We, we as speakers, we also, we work really hard. You know, we train a lot. We, we, you know, we work on our food prep we, um, and on all these things, but we never really maybe give time for ourselves and reflect mm -hmm. on, on what we've achieved. But also, as you said, it's, we're, we're living busy lives. I know personally, um, especially with the creation of, of social media, et cetera, it does kind of take over our lives. So it's great to just set aside some time for yourself and really Absolutely. center and, and, and reflect. So I'm so excited that you're come on board. Oh, uh, yet so another. Uh, well, exactly. We have such a great team and I hope, you know, next time it will be in person, we can actually um, do some do some sessions together. But I really, have... thank you for joining us and, and uh, we can't wait to get stuck. And I'm sure the Peakers are going to be super excited as well. Thanks, Peakers. I'm, I'm so excited. I just want to let you all know that you're so inspiring to me and I am just so grateful to be able to be a part of this this platform with you. So thank you for welcoming me. You're the greatest. I'm seeing comments here. I love it. Uh, I know that our speakers are going to love you too. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up real soon. And we're going to start incorporating all of this 
um, into the, the schedule real soon. So thank awesome. you so much. And uh, cheers. You. Happy gala, I guess. Cheers to you. Ah, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Slanja. Bye, everybody. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Now, let me see. Guys, wasn't that amazing? So, yeah, we have another incredible coach joining us, imparting some wisdom. Isn't she great? Um, I know you guys are going to really love that. And we something that we really wanted to incorporate uh, into NPC. And, yeah, I think we've got the great addition. So enjoy that. I'm going to give uh, one last go to our, our other chosen charity members, Feeding America. See if I can get this to work. Um, cause I really want you to hear from them as well. And just hear, uh, the other charity that you guys have been supporting through this year. So let me see if I can give them, uh, one last invite. Um, if not, we understand, obviously, uh, it's probably my, te my technical skills that is not up to standards. Maybe that's what we should do next time with NPC. Give me some, uh, give me some online tutorials. So yeah, we've heard from obviously, uh, global Food Banking Network, which work all across the world. Uh, Feeding America, obviously more specific to America. Um, we are, we're expanding, um, not only in the, the workout series, but also the yoga, the mindfulness. Um, we have so much to offer you guys uh, in the future. Um, I feel like this isn't going to work, unfortunately. Um, yeah. I'm really sorry. I'd love you guys to hear from Feeding America. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to get uh, maybe a little video from those guys and uh, they can tell you a bit more about the work that they do. Um, I'm really sorry. I really wanted to introduce you. But hey, you know, we're Pikas. We overcome any, any problems. We, uh, we face these challenges. Um, I'm really sorry to Feeding America and to Elizabeth. Um, she was going to tell us a bit more about it. But as I said... We'll hear from them soon, so don't worry about it. Um, guys, what an amazing yet challenging year, but you know, it's been so inspiring seeing you guys work, your effort, your dedication, um, the progress you've all posted on, on our um, Facebook group and on the forums. Really appreciate your support. Look at the charities and the work that we are supporting you know, we've now raised over $5 million for charity, $5 million. And not only that, you guys are sweating, you're feeling better, uh, making you friends, really can't thank you enough. So please keep up the good work. We're going to keep working. We're going to keep um, challenging you guys and also surprising you. So as I said, we have more surprises coming this year. Thanks to all the charity partners. Thanks to all our peakers. You guys rock. Hopefully next year it'll be in person. I promise I'll iron my shirt next time and uh, maybe turn on the lights. Um, take care of yourselves. You got this. It's been a great weekend. Uh, and remember, post um, your pictures. We want to see your pictures of your god outfits, your recipes. We're going to include two of them in our next um, booklet, nutrition booklet. So nothing left to say, but we love you, Peekers. Thank you. Thanks to all our team, Jordana, Alex. Josh, everyone, everyone back uh, at NPC Base as well. You guys are amazing. Cheers. Have a great gala evening. Slange of uh, And uh, we'll see you next year, hopefully in person. Much love. Now, how do I stop this thing?